Hello guys, today I will show you a simple example where we use Arduino Mega and we will blink in LED. So we will use Oqui Arduino Simulator in this example. So I would like to go to more Arduino libraries and find demo. And in the demo we have several examples and we will start with Arduino Mega Blink. So uh, pretty much everything is already set up, but what what is this? We have an editor in the left and we have a simulator window in the right. So we already have Arduino code to blink the LED. We have Arduino Mega here, an LED which is connected to pin number 13, which is nothing but the LED built in for Arduino Mega, also for Arduino Uno. Now we will run the simulation by clicking by clicking that button it's working so what we are interested is doing this on our own or do what we will do we will change the code first to see whether it reflects there or I'll just make it 100 millisecond on and one second off we will run the code again and see the difference Yeah, definitely the on time is reduced heavily compared to off time. So this is good, but how do I bring my own components? So probably how do I develop it from scratch? So for this, I will make another video. For now, I will show you how to add a few components. To delete existing component, click on it and press delete on your keyboard. Gone. Select delete. So now if I want to add a LED, I will add an LED by selecting it. Here it is and I don't like the color red. Uh, if I don't like it, I can change it. How do I change it? I have to find the element LED one. If you point here, you will know which LED it is. You have that LED, LED number one and then choose color. To be whatever you are wishing is I like blue. So I set it to blue and LED anode should go to pin number 13 and cathode should go to ground. So I'll just point to pin number 13, then click once and then go to anode, done. Same way, click on ground, go to cathode. Uh, you might have seen I, di I didn't add the resistor because in simulation environment, nothing will burn and in reality, we should have a resistor in series, but for the example, it is okay. With this change, I would like to compile again and see whether it works. Yeah, and it works perfectly. So what we can also do now is stop the simulation. And to delete a trace, you just have to point to it and then click on it. It's gone. Let's change it to pin number 12. Connect it again. So here I will directly change it to pin number 12. So code is modified now. We will hit play button which will compile and then it will start executing. Oh, okay. We didn't update the digital write functions here. So I'll have to do these two changes and then compile again. And now it should work. Yeah, it's working. So, if you have any questions, please visit Oakway Discord group. The link is in the description. Also, leave your comments and thanks a lot for your time. Goodbye.